you're looking at granddad slippers. <laughs> Look at these. Mm -hmm. They're so sweet. I need to buy that mansion. Snowflake is so beautiful. They ain't shopping. Look at the Christmassy one. Jake, these are candles. Christmas tree. Love the little colour. So satisfying to look at. What's wrong with you? There is quite a haul here. Bye. Ideal. <laughs> Home bargains. B and M. Asda's. Hey guys, welcome back. Don't mind the sun, it is ridiculously bright. I'm not complaining that the sun's out though. It's definitely welcomed after the rain. No, I'm not complaining. So you're joining us at Ponte Dawe. We're in Ponte Dawe this, this morning, guys. So we go into Tanati today, but I reserved something in Argos here because we're going to Tanati. So, so. so what's happening is <laughs> Christmas is getting ever closer and everything's going out of stock, so Leah's now reserving items at different locations in Wales and we're putting some serious mileage down no, going that's to fetch not, all these no, things. No, it's from... not. Don't be silly. I we're going to three Argoses. Three. Sorry, but we are... All on our journey. So I wasn't going to reserve this one. I said, oh, damn it. You should be a the transport nearest... manager. Is it? should be my transport manager. <laughs> yeah, Don't okay. work for me if you want. The nearest one was, Plotting it was available. Roots. The only one it was available in actually was this one. And Jake was like, oh, that's fine. That's like 10 minutes up the road from Planetti. So we may as well go there tomorrow. So it's a 15 quid doll. Yeah, to be fair, it was a bit naive on my part. I didn't realise quite where it was. Um, yeah. 15 quid doll and it's probably cost us 30 quid in fuel. <laughs> it hasn't really, I'm joking. But yeah, so we're going to grab a doll from here. But so we're, we're, gonna... not, we're not staying. This looks all right here, mate. I've never been here before. Never been I here. I know before. the area, but I've never been here. It looks quite cool. Yeah. So, so we might have a wander around. Then we're going to go back to Tanehi. Back to Tanehi, have a little wander around. We're going B &M. to B&M. B&M is the main The last time plan. we kept, went to Tanehi. Huge there. They got a new B&M and we had, I can't remember, we were in a rush of some form. I think we'd done a Primark That's in a rush? <laughs> nah, not us. <laughs> Must have been somebody else. I think, I think I'd filmed a Primark call and we needed to get back in time to pick Glyla up. So we were in a rush. We went in there quickly to have a little look round and it was huge and all fresh and new and all the shelves were stocked up so nicely. Yeah, everything cool looked shop. all neat and I'm I was like, oh, I want to go in here. It's huge. It had everything. We've only got a little B&M near us. Probably, will you stop singing? <laughs> I'm probably going to call into Asda as well while we're there. Maybe TK Maxx, have a look at their candles. Why are you see? <laughs> oh, God. Wish me luck for dealing with them today, guys. Let's go and get this doll. Woohoo! I don't mean to slag them off, like, but I'll do it with the pressure off. You can see where Argos, Argos obviously do. What? And Pound Stretcher doesn't look. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Saving the pounds. No. Home bargains. B&M. Oh, Asda's. Sorry. Shops. <laughs> so we just parked. M&S. <laughs> Wilco's. Which video is this? So we just parked up in Sinashi and we are right opposite a TK Maxx. I think that's asking for us to go in TK Maxx. No, I'm going to go and do, yeah. smell the candles. I really want some Christmas candles. We've got about two Christmas candles and that's it. So Is that where we got that really nice swan for Molly? Uh, yeah, it was TK Maxx. Because they've got huge, home scents huge, there. Huge, huge. We don't ah, have home scents. Says. Yeah, I've TK Maxx home oh, scents. Yeah, home scents, yeah. So we don't have home scents in the one in Carmarthen. We've just It's just a TK Maxx. There isn't really any like home furniture or anything like that. TK Maxx, Asda. B&M. It's B&M. Why do I get the muddle up all the time? They both look the same. The signs are the same colour. Are they? No, I don't know. I don't Shops know. are shop. They're quite similar, to be fair. I ain't shopping. I, I ain't shopping. He doesn't. He really doesn't. I ain't shopping. I'm only because oh, the deer makes me weird. Yeah, cool. You're looking at grandad slippers. Yeah. <laughs> they actually do look really comfy. Oh, they're so soft. The DK and Y can't that. possibly class as grandad slippers. <laughs> <laughs> 150 quid. Real silver. <laughs> be a lot more if it was that. Like, eh? Looking for Christmassy ones. Do we need any more reusable bags? How cute is that? No, we've got about <laughs> a thousand million of them already. <laughs> oh my god. Gift bags. Good luck. Oh. oh my god, Jake, these are candles. Look at the size of that. It's they heavy. Smell like, oh my god. Nordic pine. Oh, so it smell yeah. good. Let smell me smell it. So they smell so good. Though. Look at this one. It's got like an actual snow globe on the top. I thought that was a candle. I'm getting a bit carried away. Just a tad. Oh, 
Oh, that one's got little crystals in it there. Crazy amount of candles. This is cool, isn't it? Like it's a can. Oh my god, these are all amazing. The sleeping bags, yeah. There. Oh my god, she'd love it. 25 quid, I don't think that's too bad. Different ones as well. Oh, wow. 11 sleeps. <gasps> love this. I, no, I'm in love with this little outfit though. How much is it? Nine pound. The softest cushion ever. These are cute. Found you. Everything's quite a lot of money these days. Oh, that's cool. How much? Five Whatever. for a gold bar. <laughs> oh yeah, you have to mine it, look. Put it upside down. That's cool. Love these pajamas. Santa, I know him. Little cushion. It's cute. They look so snuggly. Look at these. I've got no bags. <laughs> it looks so wrong. Lunch time. Really enjoying that. Hello, thank you. Are we in JD, JD Sports? Yeah. Jake has a tracksuit addiction. As, so you've got four addictions, not three. They are really nice to be yes, fair. I have. It's a nice colour. Yeah. And this, is it? I'm getting that. No. How much is it? Let Santa get you something. Yeah, I really like the colour in there. It's like, like a green. Oh wow, it's showing more green on here, but it looks like a grey green. I like the blue, but you have got a blue one that's it's fair. Not that kind of blue. Mm, no. It's like but sky it's quite bright. Like that, it? No, you've got a dark colour. Oh, it's no, purple. What size is that? Your boy. Oh my god, a Pokemon watch. I think she might like the Encanto one. Is it Encanto Enca or Enchanto? Encanto. Encanto. Happy with your bag? Huh? Happy with your little yep. bag? <laughs> You're swinging it. I have got a problem. You have. I ain't shopping. I, I ain't shopping. He doesn't. No oh way, look at that. That is so satisfying to look at. <laughs> you really want to get our dog a flat cap? I kind of want to see what she looks like in it, I can't lie. Three quid. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> so do you want an insight into my mind or not? Go on then. So I went, mm, that look good on a sheepdog. I want a sheepdog. I can't imagine walking the sheepdog in the morning. At the small holding. Oh, it'd be nice having a swim in the morning. Need to buy that mansion. <laughs> Need to do the lottery. That, and that's how I got to the lottery. <laughs> You're special. You want to get her a flat cap, no, I want to get her a scarf. Up in the morning, you walk the dog. <laughs> You're still going you on this little pool, story. You swim and then... <laughs> Life goals, hey? When we win the lottery one day. I think we should get her a new bed in all seriousness. Look at that. Jake, feel this. I want to sleep in that. It's good, isn't it? What's a wow, mega wow egg? What is it? Dunno. Cocoa flavoured balls and a milky oh. duo of cocoa cream with surprise toy. I'm like a kid, the packaging just pulled me in. So this is what I mean by it's very satisfying and all nice and tidy and clean. <laughs> I know you've got a picture of you, really. <laughs> Easier climbing Snowden than it is coming shopping. Can I hear you? It's not that bad. I've even got look. I even left space for a Primark bag. Bye bye. Ideal. Okay, so we're home now. I thought I would just show you what I picked up because there is quite a haul here. I did pick up a lot of things. I'm really happy with what I managed to find. So I'll start with Asda first. I picked up these because how could I not? Basically, 
look at these. They have lights in them. Obviously, they're battery and I haven't tested them out yet. But I mean, how amazing are they going to look? I was thinking even just on the floor next to the Christmas tree or hung up somewhere. They are gorgeous. And they were £7. If they've got the prices on, I'll tell you the prices. But I don't think I'm going to be able to put the prices down on the screen because there's so many things here. <laughs> and I would literally be doing it all night. They are plastic, but I originally thought they were glass before I picked them up because they, they look like really good quality. So yeah, I'm excited to see. There's a little picture of what they look like there, actually. I picked up two of them because I thought it would look a bit strange with just one. I grabbed these Christmas trees to go in a Delilah's bedroom. Oh, those, sweet. those are £7 as well. Four different colours. They're all like fluffy and like frosted to go with all of her decorations. This, I just couldn't walk past it. Little soap dispenser. And then I just thought, it, I think it was quite expensive. I have a feeling this was about like £10 if I'm honest. It's very, it's big. It is big and obviously full of, what is it, the fuzzy duck um, spiced gingerbread. Oh my gosh. Like I said to Jake, once this is empty, I can just reuse it, refill it and use it every year. It is so sweet. I absolutely love that. Picked up this for Molly because obviously she is mad about pepper. Little pepper bedding set. I want to say about £14, something like that. Picked these up for Delilah because she absolutely loves like unicorns and pegasus and they're glowing in the dark stars and they're glowing in the dark stickers for you all. I mean, she's gonna absolutely love them. I think they were like two pound, something like that, two pound fifty. I think they're in the come shop for me if you watch that. I picked up these little earrings. I thought they were really, really sweet. Yes, yeah, seven pound. A little snowflake, a gingerbread man, candy cane. They got little bows, Santa hat and holly. I love the little dangly ones. Picked up the Tony the turkey because how could I not? That will be fab for honey for Christmas. I can't remember how much he was. I think it was about three pound, something like that. Obviously he squeaks and rustles, but I don't want to do it because honey is sat just over there. I picked up this absolutely gorgeous dress for Delilah. Now Jake spotted this. <gasps> Look at this. Look at the colour. I'm not sure how well that's showing up a lovely lilac and then look how glittery and like sparkly those sequins are so so beautiful that was 14 pound i got it in there eight to nine because lila is quite tall she's only six but she is really really tall so i picked up the was it seven to eight and i thought mm, i don't think it'll fit her for very long so that is gorgeous and then for miles i picked up these i can walk past these little like proper traditional pyjamas. They've kind of got like a foily, shiny thread going through them. Just love the little collar. Those were nine pounds. I got those in 18 to 24 months because Molly is so dirty. She's so small and those will definitely fit her. If anything, they'll probably still swamp her. I picked up the two to three and I was like, no, nah, no way. And then the last thing I got from Asda was a good old Lynx Africa because it ain't Christmas if you don't gift a Lynx Africa, is it? Let's Let's be real. Right, in all the haste, I just realized that I'd forgotten this and this is adorable. This from Asda, look at that. There's trees, little pine cones, and you got some lights in there. It's just so sweet. I thought that would go well with the decorations on our windowsill and that lights up as well and that was eight pound. B and M. First things first, oh, she's looking at me again. I picked up a dog bed. This is the softest dog bed I have ever ever felt it is unbelievable and it says anti-anxiety now I've seen things about these types of beds online for dogs being like anti-anxiety I'm not sure if it's because of the feel of it oh my god it's so soft that was 20 pounds she's a Pomeranian but this is more than big enough it is so big to be honest I was hoping there'd be a smaller one so I would say that would fit a bigger dog as well 70 by 20 centimeters this is probably the randomest mishmash of things from B&M because that's just what B&M is all about isn't it this millions dispenser comes with three mini bags to get you started she saw the a giant one in Centre Parks, you know, that you can fill up a tube of millions with. So I thought that would be fun and she was very fascinated by it. Picked up this little thing. Good stocking filler. She's absolutely crazy on like little bags, packing little bags. And this one has a pen, a notepad and a little book in it and a little key ring, Barbie. So that's right up the street. Picked up these little melt, melt, what are they called? Melting snowman cookie set. I thought this was such a cute little idea. And it shows you on the back, you melt them. So cute, Delilah would absolutely love doing that. And Molly. I got this little nutcracker for Delilah's bedroom at seven pound in pink. 
and she has got a few decorations for her room but i just wanted to add a few to them this year i love that it's really pretty I grabbed this little gingerbread toy for Honey the dog. It's £2.50. Again, it does squeak, but I'm not going to squeak it because she's right over there. Along with the dog toy, I picked up these Christmas dog treats. Sparking mad. They were £3. I don't think it's too bad. Feel sounds like there's a lot in there. Next is this set of three serving bowls with a bamboo tray. I thought this was really lovely, £7. I haven't got any sort of serving trays for Christmas and I'm always wanting to put little snacks out. And I've just got nothing really fancy or exciting to put them in. I don't know if you'd necessarily call that fancy, but I just thought it was really nice. Christmas tree. I thought these would be great for Molly. To be honest, and Delilah will love playing with these. Musical bath flutes. Such a great idea. So different amounts of water creates different notes. I thought that'd be so fun. And they're only £4. Picked up this Robo Duck. Molly is going to absolutely love this. So it swims and it also walks as well. You push the button on the front. <laughs> so sweet. I can't remember how much that was. I want to say something like eight pounds, I think, seven, eight pounds. Now, next up, the Barbie Pegasus horse. This was 20 pounds. Oh, the reflection's not showing that in the best light. You push the button and it plays music. It lights up and you get all sorts of different little accessories with it. I grabbed this candy floss maker for Delilah. How much was it? £25. She's going to go absolutely crazy for this. She loves candy floss. So I thought, oh my gosh, she's going to absolutely love making some candy floss. Like if we're having a little movie evening or something. Now for autumn and sort of Halloween time, I picked up these gorgeous tumblers from Asda and they had like pumpkins on and little leaves. It was so pretty. However, I went in there hoping to find some Christmassy ones. I, be, I keep going in there to check and I haven't come across any. There's been a few little tumblers with like a Santa's face on, but nothing that's really stood out to me. And then I saw these in B&M for £3.50 and I fell in love with them. Look at that. They're so sweet. Little gingerbread men on. Then I grabbed this Squishmallows sticker collection book. <laughs> I went blank then. So you get a few packs of stickers in with it and obviously you get the book. I thought she would absolutely love to do this. Now I did see this in Morrison's the other day but they only had the stickers. They didn't have the book available to buy. So it's 4 99 which I don't think is too bad considering you get a good handful of stickers, packs of stickers. One, two, three, you get four, five packs of stickers. Oh no, four packs of stickers plus one limited edition card. It says right there, includes <laughs> 31 stickers. I picked up these Barbie shaped gummies. They're just in a little tube. Should love those. Again, I can't remember, a couple of pounds. Some socks because I mean, it's not Christmas if you don't get a pair of socks. <laughs> Thermal insulated socks. Oh my gosh, this, these are unreal. Look at the inside. I'm sure you all know of them by now. <laughs> £4.50 for those. Picked up these because these are delicious. Also picked up these because these are delicious. If you've not tried them, oh my gosh, try them. Then I picked up these slippers for £10. They're like a cream. It's nice and soft and they have got a like hard sole on the bottom. So those will hopefully last a while. Picked up a fat wall feeder for the birds because Delilah absolutely loves looking at the birds outside. So we'll hopefully try and put that somewhere up high so the squirrels don't get it because we have a lot of squirrels in our garden. So any tips on what to do with them to stop the squirrels then greatly appreciated. Those are 2 99 each or two for a fiver. Jake's grabbed a galaxy mint. And the last thing are these Pez refillable sweets. The girls absolutely love them and they got the little Pez, like the little dispenser from Centre Parks when we went. So that is it. That is it. Spent a fortune. Also went to Primark, but that'll be a separate vlog because this is going to be way too long otherwise. So let me know if you enjoyed it, if you like a good haul video, and please don't forget to like and subscribe. It means so much to us. I can't believe we're over a thousand now. It's just unbelievable. And thank you all so, so much. We've got some really good videos coming up next week so make sure you stay tuned for those and we'll see you tomorrow bye guys